morning. Welcome to Total Body Conditioning. I just realized I didn't put my phone on airplane mode. So let me do that right now. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so um, today's class, <laughs> so I'm getting everything set up. Um, I got a little feedback that, you know, the, uh, the classes with more cardio seem to be popular. So hopefully that's everybody. Um, so I'm trying to program quite a bit of cardio into our classes. I mean, I always have, but I think maybe I'm gonna emphasize that a little bit more. So let's bring our arms all the way up. Um, today's class, we're gonna be doing 20 reps of a strength move, three different one minute cardio moves, back to the same uh, 20 reps of, um, of the strength move. <clears throat> In terms of equipment that you're gonna need today, you know, let's scissor the arms, keep the feet moving. Uh, you're gonna need dumbbells, of course, are always helpful. Um, we are doing toe taps. So if you've got like a soccer ball, or small box, something you can use as your target when you're tapping your toes. We are gonna be doing some heel slides towards the end of class. Um, so I'm gonna keep my shoes on, kind of two options, right? You take your shoes off and just slide your heels on your stocking feet. You'll be lying down when we do that. Um, or I got a couple of paper plates I'm gonna be using. Um, I think that's it for sort of special equipment. All right, let's keep the arms swinging. Switch sides. And I'm really taking my arm as far across my body as I can, as far back, trying to keep the hand chest level. Keep the feet marching. We're gonna interlock those fingers. Take the hands right overhead, open up, make a big circle. If this is too much for you, too much for your shoulders, you don't have the flexibility, you can come up just, you know, maybe it's here and then open up, that's fine. You just are getting your hands as close to overhead as you can with no pain, okay? Again, this is just a way to warm up our shoulders, get things moving. Got a lot of upper body today. We've got a lot of everything today. Back in the old days when we used to do pass-throughs with our brooms, this is sort of checking the same box in terms of getting the shoulders moving. One more of these. All right, let's do some butt kickers. As always, I want the upper part of your leg nice and vertical. Heels to your bottom. Feel a big stretch right here. <clears throat> I see a lot of people doing this move like this. It's not a march. <clears throat> it's a butt kicker. And, you know, the whole point of this is to get the quads stretched a little bit. Let's start moving the arms. Let's make the arms quite active, reaching and pulling, feeling those shoulder blades pull together. And I'm doing the same thing with my legs, heels to my bottom, feeling a nice big stretch in my quads. Let's do five more, four, three, Two, last one. Nice, well, I don't want to, I said it might, don't want my stance quite that wide. Keeping the weight equal on your two feet, reach over. If you keep your weight equal on your two feet, it's not so much a side bend, 
it's more of the sort of lat reach that I'm going for. Palms are facing down as they go overhead. You should be feeling a big stretch right in through here. going. This always feels so good. One more per side. All right, let's do a little rotation, reaching across, lifting up the heel. I know I'm like a broken record, um, but it's just a gentle, gentle rotation. It's the whole point of the warm up is to try and gently get everything moving in the way we're going to move during the workout. So we're trying to prevent injuries. Let's do three more, two more, last one. Let's take that knee right up to your chest. And I'm grabbing under the knee. I've kind of commented the last few times we've done that, that I was always grabbing over the knee. I learned under the knee is better for the knee. So let's do it that way. If that move is just way too big for you, I want you just doing a high knee march here. You still get a lot of the same benefit. You're just getting your knee up as high as you can. If you feel discomfort in your back, take it lower. Let's do three more. Two. Last one. All right. Um, another kind of a hip warm up I want to do is the stepping over the fence, ducking under the fence. So I'm just going to be here. Big step, big step, hinging at the hip, wide step, ducking under. Tall, tall wide. Here's a side view. Tall, tall. Push the hips back. Go down low. Make sure both of your feet are coming up nice and high when you're doing the stepping over. It's really easy to drag that second leg and not lift it so high. One more back and forth. Good, let's do some leg swings. As always, I like to hold on, Ooh, I like to hold on when I do this. So I can really focus on uh, the warm up element and not so much hopping around trying to Stay balanced. If everything feels good, you're going to start taking the, the kick a little higher. Staying in control. Leg is nice and straight. Foot is flexed. Feeling a big stretch in the back of your hamstring. Still feeling good. Take it as high as you can for five, four, three, two, one. Let's do the other leg. I'm still um, 
trying to be really careful with this leg so you're going to see my swing is stays pretty low and that's just trying to be super careful with that hamstring but i do want to work it i do want to warm it up just trying to stay within that range where you know it's getting stronger and more flexible and i'm not re-injuring it start taking up a little higher if you can all right go as high as you can for five four three two one all right warm up is officially finished we're going to get right into the meat of the class um so our first i'm not going to preview everything but i'm going to talk you through it just just for a moment um we're going to start out with sumo squats you know that's a wise, nice wide stance with or without weight if you're using weight you're going to hold it right here um then we're going to do one minute of ones and twos jabs and crosses skaters uh back to ones and twos and then we finish with the sumo squat so we've got the squats book ending three different cardio moves okay um what else am i thinking i think that's it uh let's start with the sumo squats i'm still trying to be really careful i'm not going to be well, i guess i could use a lightweight i'm just not going to load it up normally i load up on this one okay Wait, I'm going to hold it right here on my chest. We're going to do 20 of these with the sumo squat. Uh, feet are fairly wide. Toes are slightly angled out. You're going to push your hips back. Knees stay behind the toes. When you come up, you're squeezing your, your twishy and your inner thighs. Okay, that's one. Let's do 20 of these. Here we go. Push those hips back. Come on up. Two. Knees stay behind the toes. Three. Four, eyes are up. Five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze your legs together. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, tempo is going to completely change. Now we're going to go for time super fast just to go through these ones and twos, straight punches. You want to make it harder? Grab some light weights. The light weights slow you down a little bit, but they add to the difficulty. I think I might use light weights today. Second move, skaters. Here we are. Because I'm still pampering this leg. Uh, you know, the hardest version of the skater is that back leg stays up in the air, really wide jump. Um, I'm going to be modifying this with tapping that toe down. I'm still going to do a little bit of a jump. If that doesn't work for you. You can take the jump out altogether, do it at a step. If none of these work, you're here doing a reverse lunge, okay? Not the same move, but um, easier to control, a little less torque on the knee. All right, ones and twos. Here we go, one minute of these. Get your hands up by your face, staggered stance. Let's go. Straight punches, my hands are chest high. If this bugs your shoulders, Take them lower. I don't really want your punches going higher. So if you're not using weights, I bet you're going a lot faster than me. You should be. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Skaters are next. Clock's not going to stop as we transition from one to the next. Fifteen seconds to go here. Pick up the tempo. Five, four, three, two, 
one. Skaters, here we go. You're reaching forward, reaching back with those hands. Side view of this move. The lower you get, the better. If you can get so low that you're touching the ground, that's awesome. Why am I going so slow? Just trying to be real careful with my leg. Ideally, you'd be going a lot faster, but maybe you need to be careful with your leg too. Thirty seconds down, thirty to go. These moves we are only doing once. Fifteen seconds to go. I'm gonna pick up those weights. Got a little variation in the boxing punch. One, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two. Just two punches on one side, two on the other. Palms are facing down, whether you're holding weights or not. Thirty seconds down, thirty to go. One, one, two, two. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two. Last one, nice. Sumo squats, 20 of them. We'll rest as soon as we finish these, here we go. Push those hips back, squeeze the glutes, squeeze your inner thighs, up you go. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, I'm gonna grab just a quick drink of water. <clears throat> Feel free to join me. <clears throat> All right, this next sequence starts out with push-ups. I'm back here on my sofa. <clears throat> Let's do 15, so we're gonna do 15 our three cardio exercises and then 15. And we will have just a momentary break between finishing our cardio and going back down and doing the push-ups. I do not want you breathless while you're doing push-ups. That it's a bad combination. Um, all right, push-ups, we'll get to that when we get there. The cardio moves, high knees. If you can do this at a run, do it. I cannot yet. So I'm gonna be here doing a high knee march. I want you to have your hands here where your elbows are at a 90 degree angle and you've got a target. An awful lot of people do a high knee march like this. I want those knees up there, particularly if you are not doing it at a run, right? Then it's just marching, then it's, it's way too easy. That's gonna be followed by a giant clap, <clears throat> which is then gonna be followed by standing broad jump, shuffle back. You don't want to jump. You can always take that giant step and then shuffle back. <clears throat> All right, let's start out with our push-ups. Whether you're doing them on the floor, <laughs> on your sofa, or on the wall, the form is always exactly the same. You're maintaining a plank position. The pivot point are your toes. Even if you're doing it on the wall, I want your heels to come up. Right, if I was doing it right here, my heels would, Still come up off the floor, 
Toes are my pivot point. Body is perfectly rigid. Abs are tight. Glutes are tight. That's how you get your body nice and uh, nice and rigid. And then my last lecture about push-ups. Hands line up with your shoulders. Again, it doesn't. This is the form regardless of how vertical you are. Elbows are here at a forty-five degree angle. Zero, 90. I want them at forty-five. That puts the work here in our chest. Which is the point of this exercise. You're out here, it's gonna be all some kind of weird shoulder move that puts your shoulder in a bad position. All right, that is enough of the lecture about push-ups. Here we go, get yourself positioned. Tuck in that tailbone, tighten up the glutes, tighten up the abs, 15 of these, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, no movement in your spine. Six, it is locked down. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, now we're gonna start our three minutes of nonstop cardio, starting with high knees. Again, if you can do this at a run, do it. That's just still not quite working for that leg. But I'm trying to do my march at a fairly quick clip. Get that heart rate up a little bit. I do not want this to feel like a rest. If it's feeling like a rest, you need to go faster. Right? This is the cardio portion of the workout. We're doing the giant clap after this, and then standing broad jump with a shuffle back. Now I'm starting to have trouble getting my one knee all the way up. It's bugging my hamstrings, so I'm not going to bring it all the way up, but pretty close. For five, four, three, two, one. Giant clap. Here we go. Important part of this move, pulling those hands back, pulling the shoulder blades together. The clap is strictly the follow through. I'm not even really clapping my hands. Well, I want you going super fast, be in control. That means if I was to yell stop, you could stop. Again, our abs are tight, glutes are tight while you do this. Everything but your arms is locked down, keeping it out of your shoulders. Well, that's not right. Keeping it out of your neck. Try and keep it out of your traps as much as possible, your upper traps. Let's pick up the tempo. 10 more seconds here. Then we're doing some jumping. In five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna launch yourself. Shuffle back. You don't want to jump, giant step. Shuffle back, giant step with your other foot. Shuffle back. Use your arms to help launch yourself. This one starts out pretty easy, gets hard in a hurry. With your landing, soft landing on your balls of your feet, Knees come down with your landing. So you're really bending those knees, getting low to help absorb some of that compression. Again, if this isn't working for you, giant step forward, shuffle back. Five more seconds. Time. All right, so push-ups, not a water break. I just wanna give us a chance to catch our breath. Couple more seconds here. Then we'll finish up with our push-ups. Then we'll have a real break. If you need a few more seconds for your push-ups, take it. Here we go. You're up on your toes. 
You're tucking in that tailbone, slightly elevating your low back and your tush. Nice wide stance with your hands. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, that's the last of the push-ups for today. We got them out of the way. <laughs> All right, our next set, the uh, strength move we're going to do is hip hinge or called straight leg deadlift, but of course you're gonna have some softness in your knees. Again, this one is kind of a challenge for my hamstring. So I'm gonna go light on the weights, but traditionally we go heavy because this is a glute hamstring exercise, super big, super strong muscles. Standing up nice and tall, looking at the wall in front of me, I'm gonna push those hips back, Nice flat back, let my chest drop. Then I'm gonna come up nice and quick, squeezing my glutes at the top of the move. Um, and as you can see, when I'm going over, you know, I'm not gonna go to 90. If you can go to 90, that means your hip is at a 90 degree angle. That's great. Don't go lower than 90, okay? That's, that's the terminal point. Um, and last thing, if you have a hard time with deadlifts, if you feel it in your back, then you are going to be here doing a single leg deadlift, which is um, technically much easier to keep it out of your back, okay? Uh, we are going to do 20 because it's a nice quick move. That's going to be followed by jumping jacks, high speed bent over row, and donkey kicks. 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other. So a lot of twishy in this set. That's on purpose. All right, deadlift, straight leg deadlift. Here we go. I hate calling it straight leg deadlift. Soft knee deadlift is a better term. Palms are facing in. If you're holding onto some weight, push those hips back. Feel a nice big stretch back there. Come on up nice and quick. There's one, squeezing those glutes tight at the top of the move. Two, keep that back very straight. Push those hips back. Three, weight goes into your heels. Four, five. I'm gonna get rid of my weights. So I can tell this is irritating. Six, <laughs> irritating my muscle. Here's nine, 10, 11. Take your time going over, come up quick. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, we've got our three cardio moves, starting with a favorite, jumping jacks. On your mark, get set, let's go. Arms come up, feet go wide. You don't wanna jump, you're gonna be here, but if you're doing a tap and point, I want you to have fast tempo, okay? Again, the point is to elevate our heart rate. Same thing with the arms. If you don't wanna take your arms that high, that's fine. Do something with the arms, okay? Find, find something that works and let's speed it up. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. High speed row is next. With or without very light weights, your choice. We do have rows later in the workout. Just keep that in mind if you're gonna use, grab some weights. 10 seconds to go here. Let's pick it up. Five. Four, three, two, one. High speed.
speed row, here we go. And again, I'm using twos, right? That's as heavy as I'm gonna go. I do have threes. I'm not using them for this because mostly, I just wanna go fast. And we're gonna be working on the strength element later. You're hinged over, your back is nice and flat. Hips are pushed back, knees are soft. Focus is on pulling those elbows up, not the punch down, the elbows coming up. up. 20 seconds to go. If you can hinge over farther than me, do it. You'll, you'll have better form. Five, four, three, two, one. Donkey kicks. 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other. Let's go. Load and kick, load and kick. I'm kicking with that heel. I'm leaning against this couch. And right here, I've got a straight line from my heel to my shoulder. That's what we want. If you're not very flexible, your kick is going to be right here. If you're super flexible, you may be more in a T position than I am, but that's this is all I can do right now. Switch legs. And again, this is my bad leg. So I'm going slow and easy. Hopefully, you are just going super, super fast, cranking on this one. Whatever level of intensity you're doing, I want you to control this kick. Remember, you are kicking with your heel and time. Deadlift. Again, I would encourage you to do this with weight. And if everything feels good, load up. Here we go. We're going to push those hips back. Nice flat back. Bring it up for one. Two, three, we've been stretching four and using the same muscles, our posterior chain and almost everything on this set. There's eight, nine, 10, 10 to go, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. All right. Uh, next, next combo, where are we at time-wise? Oh, we're in good shape. Um, our strength move, I know it's kind of mean to do it now, is bent over row, right? Again, this is one of those weights where, one of those weights, one of those exercises where I think it's generally safe to challenge ourselves with a little bit heavier weight. But you know, that's your call, all right? Um, then we're doing toe taps. I've got my trusty soccer ball here that I'm gonna be using. Um, toe taps, we're here, okay? If you don't have a ball, grab a little box or grab a little cushion or something, preferably something that's a little bit mobile and something um, that if it gets kicked around is not gonna hurt you or hurt it. Uh, toe taps, then we're doing high speed bicep curls. Uh, and then we're doing some, some butt kickers. Again, the idea is this is cardio. So if you can do it at a run, do it at a run. If you need to be like me doing it at a walk, that's okay. Just, we're gonna try to do it as quick as we can. We come back to the bent over row for a second round and we'll be doing 20 of those. All right, let's start out with the bent over row. Uh, I'm gonna try to go a little heavier, see how it goes. Like with a lot of things we're doing today, it starts with the same position where we're pushing our hips back, soft knees, flat back. The version I'm gonna be doing today, palms facing in. It's the easiest version, okay? 20 of these, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I was in time. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, we start our cardio now. Toe taps, bicep curls. Again, you can grab light weights if you want with this one, alternating. Don't let it slow you down too much. And then butt kickers. On your mark, get set. Let's go. Once you kind of get in the rhythm, if you can lift your gaze so that your peripheral vision is keeping track of your target, that's ideal so you don't have your head cranked over, okay? Depending on the size of your target, sometimes that's doable, sometimes it's not. Remember the little bit kinder version of this is right here. Still doing it quick, okay? But if you can do it at a run, do it at a run. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two. That's it. Bicep curls. I'm not going to use weight. Let's go. Nice and fast. Elbows glued to your side. Eyes are up. Chest is up. Arms are flying. I'm trying to work through, feeling a little breathless. Keep myself going. Go, 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 go. Ten seconds. Five. Four, three, two, one. Butt kickers, if you can do this at a run, do it. I'm still struggling with this one. So I've only got one wing really coming up. It's okay. Or you can slow it down. But I want you to keep taxing your cardiovascular system. So go quick. Just doesn't have to be at a run. You can be at a very fast walk. Bent over rows in 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. It's time. Bench over row. Grab your weights. Push your hips back. Nice flat back. You're hinging over just as far as you can, not beyond 90. Here we go. One, two. Weights right to your waist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, grab some water. We're gonna be down on the floor for the rest of class, but we are sticking with the same format. So 20 reps of something, one minute, one minute, one minute, 20 reps. Some strength, some core. You will need dumbbells down there. And let's see, we're doing 
strength moves, straight arm pullovers, skull crushers. Just gonna change the angle a little bit. And let's see. I'm gonna grab a little bit heavier weight. May regret that. Yeah, I'm grabbing the lighter one too. <laughs> All right, and it's in this sequence that uh, as we're on the floor that we're gonna be doing um, uh, heel slides. So I've got my two paper plates here. You can also take your shoes off. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I guess it's enough delaying. Let's get down there. Whew. One more water. We're gonna start with 20 straight on pullovers. And again, when I say straight arms, I want just a little softness in those elbows. Do not lock the elbows, okay? And if you're moving around, put the weight in your lap as you get yourself into position, okay? It's just too easy to hurt your shoulder and your back, you know, moving a heavy weight around. Okay, I think that's enough talking. <clears throat> Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Tighten up your abs. I want you to gently press your back into the mat. Take the weight overhead. Pull it back up. There's one. You can touch the ground. Two, if you want. Three, but don't ricochet it off the floor. Four. Five, do not let your back arch. Six, keep it glued to the mat. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, we're halfway there. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right. Next move we're going to do is a one minute plank. And I'm just grabbing this because I want to use the weights as I'm doing my plank, not because I'm doing some crazy renegade row, um, but because uh, once again, <laughs> I'm trying to protect part of my body and that's my thumb. All right, um, if you wanna do a little movement, you can do some side tapping with your, um, with your plank. You can do plank ups. I'm gonna do some side taps with my feet. Up we go. And I'm tapping it wide. Hands are right over my shoulders. Abs are super tight. Tailbone is gently tucked in. If you wanna be right here, or if you wanna be here in low plank, that's fine too. You just find what version works for you, right? We're gonna be on our backs after this. Next move is gonna be a marching bridge. So there'll be a little bit of transition time to get on your back. Then we're gonna do a mini crunch. And then we're back to that straight arm pullover. Keep the work in your abs, in your glutes. Don't let it go to your back. If you're feeling it in your back, lift up your bottom. Try and kind of reposition yourself, get it out of there. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good news is that's our last plank. Let's get on our backs. We're gonna do a marching bridge. Again, I'm not totally sure this is gonna work but for me, but I'm sure it'll work for you. Let's get up and now we're gonna march it. We're gonna be here for a minute. I've got a fairly moderate tempo with the march. Try and keep your hips up. 
If this is not working for you, you have two options. You can just hold the bridge up here, or you can just do regular old bridge for a minute, okay? I want your glutes working during this minute. 15 seconds to go here. Then we're gonna do mini crunches for a minute. I'm having a hard time keeping my tush up because of that stupid hamstring. Mini crunches, here we go. Legs are up in the air, hands are cradling your head. Using your abs, you are slightly lifting your shoulders off the ground. I want the move to be nice and smooth. Absolutely. No pulling on the head. It's a teeny tiny move because your feet are up in the air. Your feet are up in the air because we are trying to minimize the compression in your lumbar spine, okay? But we are still working your six pack here. A minute is a heck of a long time to do these. So if you need to take a little break, a little mini break, feel free. We're here for 10 more seconds. We will be doing a second set of these. And that's time. All right, we're back to, I'm just gonna stretch my legs out here for a second. We're back to straight arm pullovers. Let's grab our weights. Again, I like the knees bent, feet flat on the floor, puts your back in a better position. I know I am very concerned about the back because that is just a problem none of us wanna have. All right, here we go. Take that weight overhead, bring it back. Abs are tight, that's two. Back is pushing in to the floor the whole time. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five to go, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, that is the end of, uh, we got one more set to do. We're gonna start with skull crushers. Then we're gonna be doing our heel slides, mini crunches, side planks, skull crushers. Um, I'm gonna preview all this when we get there. there should all be familiar? Kill slide may be the only challenging thing, and we'll just, I'll just show you when we get there because the time uh, is evaporating. Skull crushers. <clears throat> I know it's a little hard to do this right on the heels of doing uh, pullovers, but that's okay. This is good for us. Start position is exactly the same. We are carefully taking the dumbbell to our forehead, straightening it back up again. That's one. Two, triceps. Three, maybe a little tired. Four, from the push ups. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go down slow, up quick. 10, 11. Try to keep your elbows. 12, in exactly the same place. 13, all you're doing is bending. 14, and straightening. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Heel slides are next. All right, I'm gonna grab my plates 
<laughs> I'm going to get to the very end of my mat. Can you see this? Yes, I'm just going to be straightening and bending. This is going to be a tough one with my leg. So I'm just going to do the best I can. On your mark, get set, go. Abs are nice and tight, pushing into the heel. If you don't have paper plates, you can always do this in your stocking feet. And ideally, you'd be going a lot faster than me just with this leg. I'm trying to be really um, careful with these hamstring related exercises. And this is, this is all hamstring. So I'm not straightening out that one leg. I'm just doing a little bit smaller version of the same move. Go, 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 go. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Abs are tight, back is pressing into the mat, keeping it out of my back. Your back is going to want to help for these last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Right. Sorry, I've forgotten what the next thing is. Mini crunches. Go. Got our feet up in the air. If you're feeling this in your back, I want you to bring your knees closer to your chest. It, it's harder when we're doing the second round after we did so many on the first round. I'd rather you slow down, use good form. Side planks are next. We're gonna do those 30 on one side, 30 on the other. And let me look at the time. And then we're gonna come back and do one last round of skull crushers. And then we get to stretch. <sighs> 10 seconds to go. <sighs> okay, almost there. <sighs> Time. Let's get on our side. <clears throat> side plank. Elbows lined up with the shoulder. I'm doing it with my feet stacked. You can always do it on your knee, okay? And up we go. 30 seconds here. I'm going to reposition slightly. Checking that position. Elbow, shoulder looks good. Head is slightly elevated so that my neck is nice and straight. Hips are up in the air. Everything's holding on. And now I'm just going to focus on my breath. In through the nose, up to the mouth. Almost there. Time. Switch sides. As soon as you're in position, up we go. And again, always that same checkpoint. I really don't want your elbow winged up. That just puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the shoulder. The shoulder is already under pressure with this. But if everything's lined up, the joint's in a, just a much more stable position. The work should, you should be feeling it right here, side of your glutes, your obliques. And of course, keeping your neck held up, you're going to feel it on the one side, your upper traps and time. Nice job. All right, grab some water. Oh, where's my water? Here it is. Um, I'm also going to grab a strap to do some stretching. A strap, a band, a piece of rope, almost anything works. It does not need to be flexible for what we're using it for. So I'm going to use this actual official stretching strap, but you know, like I said, almost anything will work that's got some length to it. First thing we're going to do is stretch that hamstring. Passive leg, the knee is bent, foot is flat on the floor. The leg you're stretching, you're going to get it very straight. I want you getting as much of the bend out of the knee as you can. Foot is in a flexed position. And now you're going to take it forward just as far as you can. This should feel a lot of tension here in the back of your leg. 
when you get to that point where there's a lot of tension, you're just going to hold it. Should be no pain when you're doing this. Just a lot of tension. If you feel pain, I want you to back off. You're gonna take in a nice deep breath. As you exhale, I want you to see if you can just get a little bit deeper into the stretch. And we're here for five, four, three, two, one. All right, you're gonna keep the strap here. Um, arm that's on the same side as the leg we're stretching is gonna be holding on. Straighten out the passive leg. Keeping both hips square on the floor, shoulders square on the floor. You're taking that leg over. It's a big stretch of the inner thigh. Your arm is supporting the leg. That's the whole reason we have this strap there. I don't want the leg holding itself up. Otherwise, it's not going to get a very good stretch. And you should just be feeling it all in here. We're here for five. Four, three, two, one. The next stretch, we're bringing it all the way across. There's a twist in this stretch. If you don't want to twist, I want you to be right here, hugging the knee to your chest. If you can twist, switch which hand is holding on to the band. Roll up on the hip, keep your shoulders pinned to the ground. This is a big stretch through your glute. Just try and relax. Breathe through the stretch. For five, four, three, two, one. Let's come on back up to center. Switch which leg. Same exact three stretches. I'm gonna get my water bottle out of the way. Starting with a hamstring stretch. Again, leg is nice and straight. Get it in position. You're gonna take it just as far forward as you can. And then you're gonna hold on. And I do generally start with a hamstring stretch because tight hamstrings cause a lot of problems. All right, now we're going to take in that nice deep breath. As we blow it out, we're going to pull the leg a little bit more forward. For five, four, three, two, one. Straighten out the other leg. Again, we're taking this one uh, wide. Both hips are square to the floor. That means both of your butt cheeks are in equal contact with the floor. You're not at all rolled up. Shoulders are nice and flat on the, on the, um, <clears throat> on the floor. Feeling a great big stretch in your inner thigh. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, again, if you are um, uh, not a twister, grab below the knee, hug the knee to your chest. Otherwise, switch which hand is holding on to the band, roll up on that hip, shoulders stay pinned to the ground as you're doing this really big stretch. Through your glutes also gets into the uh, uh, TFL. Just a real big stretch, but we want to be careful, do it gently, do it with a lot of control. That's why I like to have the strap. We're here for five, four, three, two, one. All right. <clears throat> uh, next, we're going to be uh, stretching our quads. I'm going to do the sideline stretch. I like to grab the back of my shoe. Knee is in line with the hip. I'm not up here. I'm here. 
pulling it back. Um, if you don't have the flexibility to grab your foot, you can always use that strap around your foot as a way to do this same, same stretch. Uh, the positioning, I'm really thinking more about pulling my knee back instead of cramming my heel into my bottom. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, release the stretch. Let's switch sides. And again, the stretch is right here, front part of your thigh. For five, four, three, two, one. Let's get up for our last few stretches. <coughs> Excuse me, your back heel is gonna be flat on the floor. Nice wide stance. Once you're in position, you're gonna push your hips forward without excuse me, without letting that heel come up. And the stretch just feels so good um, in the calf. And of course, if you've had any plantar fasciitis, you're familiar with this stretch. Helps stretch out the tissue on the bottom of your foot. For five, four, three, Two, one, let's switch sides. Again, once you're in position and then you're gently pushing into the stretch until you feel a lot of tension back there. For five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, a couple of upper body stretches to just round things out. Interlocking our fingers behind our back, lifting them up. Should be feeling that stretch right in here. Keep trying to lift. There's a tendency to want to bend over. That's not really going to net us anything with this stretch. So I'm just focusing on lifting those hands. For five, four, three, two, one. Release it. Some shoulder rolls, opening up the chest. Last stretch, triceps. Triceps got a very thorough workout today. So if they are a little sore, triceps are right here. They're a little sore tomorrow. This is the stretch you wanna do. For five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off, other side. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Finally, three nice deep cleansing breaths. Take in that air. Reach it up, blow it out through your mouth. Last one. All right, thank you for continuing to join me. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you either in person on Tuesdays or, um, or here, uh, uh, on Zoom. Bye.